In today's application economy, companies rely on CA application performance management to troubleshoot faster, boost IT productivity, and control the overall end user experience. CA APM Team Center lets you understand the geography of your application environment, which is vital for effective monitoring and problem solving. It helps analysts monitor the environment and detect problems. Team Center filters out the non-problematic parts of the environment to focus on the issues. Using the Team Center Experience View for triaging problems, you are able to monitor the components in your environment, detect the components that are experiencing problems, prioritize which issue is the most urgent based on volume, display the issues in the assisted triage panel, highlight the issue with other analysts and component owners, and investigate further with analysis notebook, map dashboard, and web view. Team Center provides an overview of an application environment. Administrators use Team Center to see the health state of the environment. Level 1 analysts monitor problems and warning signs in the environment with experienced view. In the following demonstration, we will take a first-hand look at the new CAAPM Team Center Experience View. We begin by logging into CA Application Performance Management as Administrator. The CAAPM Team Center Experience View opens. Let's take a look at the application in the APM R10 component. The Team Center User Interface opens for the APM R10 components. We will take a look at some of the key features. In the top left corner, we can see our breadcrumb navigation as well as return to top level view. We have our time range and our timeline mode, historic or live. You also have the option to expand or collapse the timeline. In the top right corner, you have your messages, settings, universes, go to map or dashboard, as well as an online help link. To the left, we can see the health score, poor transactions, which is the sum of slow and failed transactions, and total number of transactions. You have the option to sort by transaction volume, transaction health, experience status, failed count, and slow count. Here we can see the aggregated response time histogram, as well as our time series data, which includes average response time and transaction volume. We have our experience card, which includes alert status, normal, caution, or danger. It also contains the option to open analysis notebook and toggle graphs. We can also see our assisted triage panel with problems and anomalies. We will collapse the assisted triage panel, collapse the summary panel, Select the Perspective drop-down menu. Select Location. We are now viewing the APM R10 components by location. We will now go back to the previous level. We will now take a deeper look into one of the problems. We can see that the trade service BS is showing an alert status of danger. We will investigate further. Change the perspective to transaction name. Notice that the reporting service, servlet A7, is having the problem. We will change the perspective to application. We will navigate to Trade Service. The Trade Service is showing a health score of 100. We will change the perspective to Transaction Name. Return to the previous level. Select Trade Service BS. We will now select one of the reported problems. Select Toggle Graphs. Switch to Transaction Volume. Switch to Histogram. We will now open an Analysis Notebook. And select the first occurrence. The Metrics Overview appears. Notice the blame point metrics compares yesterday and today's metrics. We will collapse the relationship flow and view more of the metrics.
Note the browser agent metrics identified by the W3C metrics. Expand the timeline and look at our time series data. We will now drill down to a specific time range. We will choose the last 24 hours. After investigating the last 24 hours, we will return to the top level view and log out. I am sure you now understand the CAAPM Team Center Experience View. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit our website, ca.com education. And for more videos, please subscribe to the CA Educate channel on YouTube.